Welcome everyone. My name is Victor Owolabi and in today's video I'll be explaining the basic editing tools with Pixel Lab. You may be asking why Pixel Lab? Well, the answer is quite simple. Pixel Lab comes very handy, meaning it's very easy to use and it can be downloaded from Play Store, which implies that it works directly on your smartphone. And this provides you the opportunity to make any graphic design on the go from simple to professional that you're interested in making business flyers or cards or handbills you want to make baby cards or designs for your family friends and loved ones or you'll be interested in making youtube video thumbnails watermarks and logos like i made for all my videos on this channel and you haven't subscribed to this channel well i will encourage you to do that now because you won't want to miss any of my videos most especially the one coming on the mathematics of graphics all right so stay tuned and i'll be right back all right welcome back this is the content We'll be covering number one is the image size or the background or your workspace size then the second one is where can we get different background templates to use so we have a set of them we we'll call them presets number three the where to get background designs and add effects number four text editing tools or you call it toolbox then number five image or object editing toolbox we call it simply tools number six where you can adjust your layer this is your layer settings in number seven where you can save your projects on your pixel lab and then come back later to continue all right and also save your image directly to your gallery first thing is to launch your pixel lab then you can slide from this portrait to landscape all right now what's the first thing you're going to do if you want to touch your work you can start to set your image size or your background size by clicking the three vertical dots on the right hand side select the image size okay, i want to go by the size of a youtube thumbnail which is 1 to 80 by 720. this aspect ratio is the same thing as 16 by 9 if you divide both sides of 1 to 80 and 720 by 80 that's the simple mathematics there all right okay you can see there's a stretch all right now at this same location if you look at the bottom right hand side we have many toolbox there the first one which looks like a Venn diagram is where you can choose your preset or you call them different background templates you can switch from any you can click on any of them but once I click on any and move the text, it assumes I'm already working on a project. So if I click on a new template or preset without saving this current one, then I will lose the project. So I don't mind. I'll click OK. So we come to the next one, next one. So we have 14 presets plus the first one, the default one, making 15 different presets. Okay, so this is the default. Each of them comes with their image size or you call it aspect ratio okay moving away from there we go to the AI icon or the text editing tools anything in text you can see now if I click on new text I have several tools to work with we have 31 tools here if I click outside this text box I will have only two options left either to introduce a new text by clicking the plus icon but i don't want to introduce a text so i'm going to undo by clicking the icon third to the left all right or you insert a quote and then you click on any and then it shows on your, your screen but if i want to delete this i'll click on the delete icon on the top left hand side next to the pencil icon then click ok so the two options I have now, since I'm not clicking on any text, is for me to introduce a new text by clicking the plus icon or I should just simply insert a quote. 
but once I click on the text, all the tools I need to work on this text or to edit it, all the tools are displayed on the screen. All the 31 tools. Right, the next one is the image or object editing toolbox. I have only six tools by default. But once I have an object inserted now, either by inserting the sticker, I can click on any sticker, but I don't want to pick any, so click cancel. I can import from the gallery. So let me try to import one. I want to import my picture. When you try to import anything, there's an interface it will take you to where you can do several cropping, circular cropping, which is on the left. And then at the top we have a clockwise and clockwise above it then you can do several other croppings at the right hand side one by one 16 by nine so when you combine one by one aspect ratio or cropping with a circular cropping and you drag it to your desired area then you click ok which is the right button at the bottom right hand side or if you're not satisfied with that you can click the cancel above it definitely it will take the raw image the way you picked it from the gallery down to your workspace so in this case i click ok all right so now i have my picture and a text on my workspace i have two items now all right as you can notice the picture is above the text all right so i'll go to my layer settings and then drag the picture down below the text all right you can see now the text is now above my picture all right clicking back the layer settings and then i can switch it back again by clicking the eight dots at the left hand side take note eight dots drag it down then now i have my text underneath my picture all right also if i don't click on an object or an image all the tools that i need to edit the image will not be supplied now as you can see if i click on this object i have all the tools all the 24 tools i can use to edit this image or object are being displayed okay moving away from here the next toolbox is another environment where you can choose your background or add some effects to your background all right you can decide to color your background so and if you don't want the gradients like if among this list if you click on it we have it on the screen but just color just a single color if you don't have your desired color among this list right then you click the plus button you can move around the circles in the three rectangles to see your final color or result on the circle on the left if you're not okay with that then click on the fill in icon next to the pencil icon at the top then we have where you can choose your picture that you want to blend in a color with now I want to blend the color with my tie so I'll drag it to my tie then click OK then click OK. You can see now the background has the same color as my tie. Oh no, this is not what I want. So I need to undo by clicking the arrow next to the pixel lab at the top left hand side. All right. Then choose color. I need to choose a single color. So and then I need to pick a white color. So select then click OK. All I'm trying to do is to make a YouTube video thumbnail similar to the one I did for this current video. My text is hidden. I need to drag it down, then double click, then edit the text. I want to type in Victor, then I will choose a different color. So type in Victor, done, okay. All right, so since I'm dealing with the text now, I need to click the A icon and then go to the color, scroll down to the color, click color, and then fill in with a color similar to my tie. Press OK, All right? Just in case you want to change your background color from white, you click on the background and then go back to your background design toolbox click on transparent if you want a transparent background but I don't want that to undo by clicking that button next to pixel lab right the next is the image size you can adjust it to be like that of a YouTube thumbnail so 120 by 720 so you type 720 done and okay then you observe a stretch all right you can also crop but in this case it's not possible to crop in this sense then next you can click on image choose any image as your background right so when you click on the image now you can choose from any of this list we have several so now if you click on this now you can see this if change you click on another one you see the effect all right now this what you can notice this image will never be on your layer you click on the layer you can see it's not among the items on your layer because the image is at the background 
so once you choose any image from this background or from the preset i mentioned earlier on it will not reflect on your layer because it's at the background all right so now i will click on cancel to restore back to the original state before entering this image section okay now i can import also from a gallery all right or choose a new image from my camera all right next i want to insert a rectangle this shape alongside with other shapes can be seen at the image slash object toolbox so i'll click on that and then select shapes right by default the first shape is always a square you can adjust it maybe from the bottom then the right hand side up just on every side of the shape to turn it to a rectangle the next i'll pick color choose a color that blends with my tie i'll select that color all right and click ok drag it to the desired position all right as you can observe the rectangle is above my picture so i have to go to the layer settings icon click on the layer icon and then drag my picture above the rectangle by dragging the eight dots at the left move it up good click this next i'll click on the white background okay since i'm no longer interested in editing the rectangle further any further all right now i need to insert a circle so i'll click on shapes so then i'll click on drop down arrow select a circle and then fill in with the color that matches with my tie click ok then stretch it downward this adjusts it both horizontally and vertically you can also rotate with the icon at the bottom left hand side and then drag it above my picture now go back to layer settings drag my picture above the circle now move my picture then you can click on the layer icon and then lock other shapes at their current position so that they are fixed and do not move in around right go back to layer settings now you can see now i can only move my picture other shapes are locked down or fixed now the last toolbox is where you can add some other effects to your background the icon looks like a magic wand you can rotate click on rotate and then you can see of which i don't want to so i'll click on rotate again you can enable this effect the vignette you can enable it and then increase the intensity or reduce it right but i want i don't want to cancel you know can, can add stripes enable it as well and also increase the intensity reduce it or increase the repetition or reduce the repetition all right cancel if you don't want so you can add several effects to your background from brightness to contrast hue, saturation all right now let's go back to the text icon which is the a icon and click on the text i want to edit which is victor if i click outside of it i will have only two options all right so now i have all the 31 tools i can use to edit and then click on styles browse choose one of the styles okay and now i want to click on the victor back and then remove the text background so scroll down text background disable it all right oh it's hidden all right i will disable it later all right so for now i'm going to use a shortcut to rotate this text box by using the curve under the text box for victor and then move it to the left hand side so now clicking on the curve beneath victor drag it the, and then drag it to the left hand side now it's beneath my other layer so click on layer icon then go down scroll move the victor upward click on the layer back all right then adjust a little bit do some other adjustments now i can now disable it now so scroll down to text box to disable the background disable it now so now it's clearly showing the victor it's not hidden now okay before rotating let's add some curve effect click on curve bend it a little bit all right i just click ok then also rotate now click on rotate adjust it a bit and then click ok then drag it all right to make another copy of this victor or duplicate it click on the pencil icon at the top left hand side then click on the copy icon drag it down to the right hand side let's come back to the first victor click on curve let's choose minus 35 percent then click ok then go to rotate let's say 26 degrees and then ok all right drag it to desired location then drag the first victor back here then double click on it and then i'll type in olabi now the reason why i'm using different text box for victor and olabi is because once i've applied the curve effect 
I can no longer use separate colors for my letters. For example, click on color and then highlight the last four letters and then fill in with the color. All right, choose the color. Okay. And then let's drag it now and see the effect. You can see now all the colors are still the same color for the seven letters. Now, but if I go ahead and straighten it, go to curve and adjust it back to zero, you can see now only the last four letters is still having that other color which I used. But once I go ahead and bend it and curve it again, like apply some curve effect, all right? Then you can see now everything has become the same color, no separate colors any longer. It has been selected. Now let's go up. Scroll, rotate then turn it into clockwise drag it upward okay click okay All right and then reduce the text size by clicking text size reduce it a bit um, then okay uh, okay i guess this is cool so let's click okay and then the same thing click on victor drag it and then go to text size adjust it similarly um next 51 the same 51 click ok then I have to move this down a bit then click on the layer icon settings lock the picture now I want to match the last three items looking at the circle that my arrow is pointing at click on it right and then take the three items I want to merge and then click on the circle my arrow is pointing at to merge then click ok all right so now all the three objects are matched together the picture the circle and the rectangle okay so click on the layer icon now can see now they are moving all together as so I drag them all right so let us place them back to the position where it should be but something is observed the victor is underneath this layer so after adjusting this I will go to layer icon now and then bring the victor above the layer of all this major okay so let's bring it above drag it above all right you can save this project with a name on your pixel lab for future purposes or as image to your gallery as project now you can use a name or just save as image directly to your gallery all right you can change this image format from jpg to png if you're using a transparent background it's advisable you use png but for now let us leave it as jpg you can share on different platforms we have facebook twitter google plus whatsapp so let's just save directly now to gallery so image saved thanks for watching and subscribe to this channel to get notifications on our next video on the mathematics of graphics right for inquiries and requests send them to victor's maths channel at gmail.com